Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to build a fire truck because I like building emergency vehicles. As you see, we're in our ambulance that, are, that we made. Well, that I made. And you guys like to like that video. You guys also like the scrap mechanic videos. So I'm going to keep up with them. If you have any suggestions for other types of videos, leave them in the comments down below. And let's get going. Wee woo. Okay, here's a good enough spot. That's not safe for an ambulance. Okay, so a fire truck ten will tend to be super big. So it's going to be longer than this. Have big fat wheels and yeah. Definitely wider than this. I'll... Like I don't know, this wide? Like keep building it and also... As an extra, I'm gonna add a fire hose with the water cannon, which really isn't a hose. Okay, so um, let's start building. So. Obviously, we will need a wheel well for these ginormous oversized wheels. Yeah, they're quite large. Just, yeah, this, ne this thing needs to be wider. I don't know, four blocks wider seems good enough to me. And then, you can just... Okay, so this seems should it be longer. You know, I'll deal with that later. So right now we have we need to like get a wheel wall, so it's like that large. So I'm willing to put it like right here. Also, I need to add suspension. So yeah, this is not the easiest thing. So. Yeah, that seems like a good spot now. Just gotta go. And by wheel. So that's the land of this wheel. And it's going to be lower. So it doesn't necessarily need to be this bit large. But it's always good. So now, as we always need, we need suspension. Because what's a vehicle without suspension? Also, I'm putting these large suspension because um, this vehicle's large. Off road suspension seems like a better job. Does. Oh, geez, I don't want it to be off center. Seems like it does a better job because, like, if we take it off, this thing's already decently heavy. So the wheel going there isn't actually the best thing. So I'll bring the wheel up by a bit. So, so a trick to get by this so then you don't need to delete everything. Just use the well tool. Because what's scrap mechanic without the well tool? It's the most handy tool for putting creations back together. Why is this still staying upright? There we go. Okay, so. Now I need to get on here because it's too tall right now. So then, now we can just go. Then I can weld the side of this. Then it can probably be. Yeah, that's better. Now let's stiffen this suspension because it's literally fully compressed already. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. That's better because this thing will get super heavy. 
Okay, I'm gonna put on the rest of these wheels. Um. Uh. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I'm back. Um, these are the wheels. Seems appropriate placed. Seems like an appropriate placement to me. Because if we take it off. Jeez, this suspension is squishy. Now if I take my... Okay, now we actually need to make it possible to get on because really it's not. I'm driving the fire truck! Okay, now before we get too far, let's get back. I'm glad we can do this. And now this thing has come to a full stop, and there's no really way to put brakes because the because when I tried cactus brakes, it just made the wheels go instead of the stop, which is a bit crazy. And so now we got to worry about seat placement because obviously there's four seats. So y'all y'all got to get a seat and a driver's seat. Let me actually make the front of this first. I'm just thinking. Yeah, these really aren't needing to be at this stiffness. We can lower this stiffness. Yeah, honestly, that's a good enough stiffness. Yeah, so the doors are like right there, so. Let's get some wedges for good looks and for, um, um, placement for, for good looks, a wheel well, and for placement for blocks that we might need later, because. Why is the back squished more than the front is? Yeah, they're not the same. That's weird. Is there like some magical thing that the back is heavier than the front or something? Yeah, like they should be at the same level, but this one's compressed entirely. Oh well, um, let's just get these wedges on. And I think that's done for the wheels. After we figure out this problem. This thing will become a lot heavier, so I will need to change the suspension stiffness eventually. So, um, yeah. Honestly, this more... This looks kind of crazy now. This is already getting heavy enough for this. Now we can get started with things, so 
Now let's get this paint tool. Just go blank. This looks kind of weird at the front now. Honestly, that's good enough, I think. Looks kind of weird, but I think we're good. So now... Yeah, good door size, so. But that's a bit far back for the front door. You know what, it doesn't matter. We can just place the seats higher, because I know these seats will need to be higher. And then we can remove this and replace it with glass, because how do you see through wood? So, y'all just gotta go get the glass, and just go. Y'all need the glass? Here's the glass. Then the driver's seat. Now we have two seats. This will not be the best vehicle for first person driving now that I realize it. Okay, so, um, yep, now I'm just gonna go make the other door, and, Done so. I think. So that's all good for the friends of this place. Okay, let me attach the steering so then I don't need to do it later on. So now would be a good time to flip these around and increase the stiffness. Oh jeez, this thing is really heavy. How <laughs> did I realize it? It sort of looks like something I had in vision because like this is super big and bulky like it's supposed to be. Now let's set it at this stiffness. So now when I put the engine in its compartment somewhere, just dig a hole because why not? And then just slap the engine because I really have nowhere to put it. And then just cover the hole. And we're all good. 
and then I can hook the seat to the engine, the engine to the back wheels because there's a because this is a rear wheel drive, and it's a gas engine for more realistic stuff. And then, oh my God, this thing barely moves. At, like I know it can't be at speed one, but like a okay, can it drive now? Okay, still too slow. This thing is a fire truck. It needs to be fast. Maybe like that. Why do all the emergency vehicles I make drift? This thing's so uncontrollable. Like this is this is not normal for a fire truck to do these kind of things. Now for the door because obviously you need can because obviously how do you get in if you can't open the door? Oh jeez, this thing really is tall. And we can hook this up to a controller. And now I can hook everything up. So this to the controller and that to there. Okay, so now I think it's good there, so now there's actually doors. I will probably have to separate this into parts to reduce the length of these videos. Like, like I already think like about now is probably going to be a good time to like end the video. And I've been noticing not a lot of you who watch my videos actually been staying to to the end. So it's practically useless if none of you stay to the or the end. Now it's more controllable. What the? And finally, I see. Finally, I get to see the problem where it starts flipping over because all the other emergency vehicles I made do not flip over. This one flips over. At least it's hard for it to flip over. Suspension really is good for not flipping over, like it says in the description. I think the heavier this is, uh, the easier it is f to control, so. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and, um, I guess that's gonna be it. Bye!